What's up, y'all? It's Calvin here, and I want to holler at you guys about a situation brewing in Seattle that could fire 40% of the police force because of COVID-19 vaccine mandates, all right? And uh, this is something that we all need to pay attention to regardless of where we stay because it could be brewing in your area. So it's something that you want to pay attention to because in my area, which is the Portland area, um, we have this article here that came out September the 12th, 2021, all right? And the title says, Broken. Portland residents facing dramatic increase in wait times for 911 calls following efforts to defund police. Right, and if we scroll down here right quick, it says people calling 911 to report a September 4th shootout at a pro district restaurant and other emergencies in the following hour waited an average of more than 7.5 minutes before a dispatcher answered. All right, and the national average standard is 15 to 20 seconds okay and this is 7.5 minutes before they got to a dispatcher so once they you know what i'm saying gave them a rundown and then told them where they was at and sent somebody you know what i mean there's no telling how long that was and if you're in a badly beaten state or you're stabbed or you're shot uh that is not going to work in your favor all right and on top of the fact, the way that society is now, like we've been so desensitized and over-sexualized, there was a situation in Philly, all right, where there was a lady that was on a subway and she was getting raped and the people just had their phones out and was recording and watching it just like it was Pornhub or, you know what I'm saying, the porn website, all right, and um, like this... This education and this inundation of this sex, it is taking its toll on society, and this is going to get so much worse. And so I hope that you women out there um, take heed to the situation that went down in Philadelphia and, you know what I'm saying, know that there's not going to be very many righteous people, you know what I'm saying, out and about wherever you are, uh, you know what I'm saying, and this was a clear, clear example you know what i'm saying for everybody to see not just women because watch the stories are going to be coming out where men are getting you know raped right in front of people and all that stuff like that too watch it's coming you don't know I mean please believe it so uh but particularly for the women this is a very very vulnerable time for uh women so uh please 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 i cannot stress it enough take heed to this and understand that this is the way that society is going okay and it even says in scripture uh, that was in uh, Isaiah 13 and 12 It says I will make a man more precious than fine gold Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir So uh, that just lets you know Where we're headed into with the time So for, for you ladies out there I understand you're independent you getting your money Whatever this and that here You really want to get linked in with a male You know what I'm saying Doesn't have to be your boyfriend or like whatever But you need some type of covering Someone that you can go to When it's just a situation That's physically too much for you You know what I mean And uh, Because it is going to be needed Like in a major, major way And also with this situation My heart goes out to this lady Like I can only imagine That she probably had absolutely no faith in society at all Man, like there's probably nothing that nobody can tell her You know what I'm saying so hopefully she will be able to shake back and still have faith in uh, humanity again. But I can easily just see her just shutting off, like for real, for real, man. That that that's, that has got to be devastating. Like I got I got sisters and like stuff like that. I I there's no way I could have just you know what I mean sat idly by. You know what I mean. But uh, at any rate, uh, you know something else that I I wanted to touch on with this particular aspect is that you know. These types of things that we're used to seeing in like these different countries and like in uh, India and like stuff like that. And if you notice, there's an uptick of people practicing yoga and stuff like that. And like these are the same guys, these people over there, they serve and they have these types of crimes. And it's a spirit behind this stuff. And you can think this is crazy or funny or whatever, but these types of things and these types of behaviors are showing themselves. You know what I'm saying? More and more. And this is one of the punishments that the Most High gave the children of Israel when they would follow these other gods. We would be subject to the types of things that they were into. And uh, with these other cultures, man, I'm telling you. So, like, you got to be careful with these restaurants that you go to, with these shrines and things of that nature. These are two gods. And if you see, like, in every aspect, these big events and stuff like that with CERN and all of this stuff, like, it's all linked to these gods and these worships. And, like, when these spirits are let loose on mankind, these types of things 
happen. And it, this is something also that we need to speak about. There is a very strong spiritual element when it comes to this deviant and lawless behavior. All right. Like this is the essence of demonic energy. All right. And it tells us that in the book of Enoch. Real quick, we are going to go to the book of Enoch in chapter 15. I'll leave the link below and you guys can read the whole thing for yourself. But I will start at verse 8. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits, which are the fallen angels and flesh, shall be called evil spirits upon the earth. And on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their body because they were born from men and from the holy watchers. Once again, the fallen angels. All right. And if you come down here, you'll see a description of what the spirits of these giants do. All right. What their MO is. All right. And this is verse 11. And it says, and the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless they hunger and thirst. And this is the importance of fasting, folks, because if you don't take any food in, you're starving these spirits out, and they have to flee. And then you turn from your wicked way, so on and so forth. All right, moving on, it says, and cause offenses, all right? And then it says, and these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women. All right. And it's right there. OK. And it goes on to say because they have proceeded from them. So this is what's being unleashed. You know what I'm saying? This is what your CERN project and all that stuff is about. They're trying to open up portals and they have admitted this. All right. And so look it up for yourselves. But of course, I will leave some links below. But, uh, you know, this is what we're up against. All right. So respect the spiritual aspect to this whole thing and understand where your help is. Come back to the Most High, follow the laws, statute, and commandments, and He will keep us during these times. And this reminds me of of, of the uh, the uh, situation with uh, Lot, and where the men in his neighborhood came out from every quarter. The uh, scripture says, and came to his house to rape these men. And if it would have went down the way that they wanted it to, while those men were getting raped the other people would have been standing around and watching you know what i'm saying and if it would have been like in our times they would have been just like those people on that subway with their phones out and like this is where society is going and please understand this is greek and roman culture if you look into um these uh, stories with these statues of Zeus with these little cherub looking things, those are boys, all right? And it was customary back in the time they, they had these uh, mentor programs where, you know, they would go to these uh, gymnasiums and they would, you know, watch the boys exercise naked and all that stuff like that. They would pick one out and they would take them off for a couple of months and repeatedly rape these boys. And that was a part of their society. This was normal. So... As crazy as it sounds, you can expect more of this, all right? Because like, this is who we're being ruled by. This is them coming from behind the closet. And the onus is up to us to be prepared, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to the situation like this, you, you need to be prepared to defend yourself, all right? And um, when it comes to real firearms, whether you can get one legally or not, you know how to do that. So I'm not even going to waste your time talking about that. But some things that I will talk about is uh, a home defense gun. It's called an Umarex, all right? And it is a HDR. This is a home defense revolver. Excuse me, revolver. They also have a pistol, all right? But with the revolver, you can do modifications to this thing. Um, out of the box, you can get a 7.5 joule version. Uh, for those of you who don't know what joules are, it is a measurement of energy. All right, and they also have an 11 joule version where you would have to uh, kit it up yourself. Or, and there's other things that you can do to get even more power out of that gun. And so that is a really good thing that you can do. And it shoots uh, pepper balls as well as um, homemade ammo that you can make with hot glue. So it's very cheap and ineffective to do these things. And you can make some gnarly stuff. If you look here, here's a couple of bullets that I made myself. Um, and they can do some damage. All right. And, um, I've also got the pistol as well that uh, shoots a pepper ball, so on and so forth, but it's not as powerful and there's not really inf any info out there about uh, uh, modifications that makes it really stronger. Now the Umarex is a CO2 gun, but what separates this from other CO2 guns like the Burner, which is like $400 and, and then they've got other ones that cost like a thousand, is that you don't have to use your CO2 cartridge until you actually need it. And that's what that thing 
at the bottom is, that's a notch that you hit and puncture the CO2 cartridge and then, you know what I'm saying, rock and roll. So, uh, and the pistol was like 88 bucks and I think I paid like 169 for the revolver. So, uh, you know, it does cost a bit, but it is a non-lethal option, you know what I'm saying? And from what I have seen, um, it is the best CO2 pistol option. Something else that you can do that is a legal option for those of you that can't get a regular firearm is uh, black powder guns. Um, you know what I'm saying? And this also is dependent on the state that you live in. But uh, those are some things that you can look into. And I'll just put up some pictures there so you can see. And um, there's also guns that you can put together yourself as well as 3D printing when it comes to that. And... Uh, so just wanted to go over those options. There's also mace, uh, mace gel, you know what I'm saying? A lot of options with that stuff. They got mace guns and uh, the thing that I just mentioned with the uh, revolver that shoots uh, mace balls. So a whole host of things that you can do with mace. Um, there's also throwing knives because like something that you want to have within your arsenal is something that you can strike from from a distance. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Particularly if, if you are smaller and weaker, you want to hit somebody from a distance. So throwing knives, throwing axes for th those of you that got, you know, um, you know, yards and things of that nature. Like, uh, it would be a good idea to practice with these things other than just depending on a firearm. Because you may find yourself in a situation where you can't have that. You know what I mean? So it would, uh, you know, it would just make sense to be skilled in other things. Because... Uh, at, at, at the end of the day, it is your life. Like, this is a fight for your life, and this situation has been created for you to exist in. So uh, you, you definitely want to get down with the get down, because I'm telling you, these people who are in power, everything that you see happening that is chaotic and all of these brutal crimes and things of that nature, this is a part of the process for them. You know what I'm saying? This is completely okay with these people. Just look at how Hillary Clinton laughed when they killed Gaddafi, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just absolutely no remorse, just straight up glee. And this man was a better leader than anyone that we've ever had in the history of this country, like by a long shot. Look that dude up, you know what I'm saying? Not even gonna leave no links, man. Just find out for yourself. That, man, that dude was an angel. <clears throat> but at any rate, I um, hope this resonates with you guys and kind of, you know, drives home the point that this is serious, you know what I mean? And it's all caving in on us. And just like clockwork with everything else that's going on, there is no wasted movements. You know what I mean? And in the end, it is the people that suffer. And it's mainly because of a lack of knowledge, the same way the description says. So pay attention, stay alert, stay alive. This is the Pyros. Here come the hot stepper. Here come the spiritual warrior. Excuse me, good people. I still love you like that. Hey.